Hello, welcome to the Ellen DeGeneres campus of the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund. Follow me. When people enter the campus, the first building they see is the conservation gallery. The Conservation Gallery is you know, this you know, public space where people can come and learn about the work of the Dan Fossey Gorilla Fund, learn about gorillas, and um, hopefully um, learn about you know, what they can do to help save the gorillas. The mission of this campus is to use gorillas as an entry point for a, a lifetime of uh, conservation activism. So since we've opened the campus, uh, we have had tremendous response from tourists or uh, both international and local tourists um, and also, you know, Guandans in general really and our neighbours uh, here in uh, Kinigi sector in Sunset District. This campus is um, a huge impact to the conservation of the wildlife, especially mountain gorillas, because we do a lot of research here. We have trackers in the forest, those are there for the gorillas to see which got hurt and help to save their lives, to remove snares or traps set by poachers, to help realize the, the power that we have to save mountain gorillas, like they collect samples from the forest, like gorilla poop, so you can make more researchers to know about the life of gorillas. This is the, the most fun and most engaging part of the conservation gallery is the 360 theater that we have here. So um, in this theater, um, again, it's a, it's a 360 theater. It's uh, um, you know playing videos of gorillas in the habitat. This campus provides a lot because now we have enough equipment for, for hormone analysis. That is a good thing. Because when we sent the, 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 the samples in USA, we wait a long time for the results. But when we do all the processes here, so we can find the results in a short time. We carry out research and the monitoring on plants and animals living in the Volcanoes National Park. We do biodiversity research in order to uh, more understand, in order to find solutions to challenges facing uh, gorilla habitats. The first time I came here was in 2019. It was my second year of university. And then during my third year, I was chosen in the top 10 students to come to do the memoir here. And then I was chosen among the top two students as a professional intern. The training and capacity building program is one of our most important programs because we, you know, we would like to um, um, provide skills to that next generation of uh, conservation scientists. In general, the, the, uh, the future of conservation here in Rwanda be it you know, the conservation of uh, mountain gorillas or the rest of the biodiversity, I think this is it's a, you know, a bright future. We know, for example, that the model we have here at the Dan Fossil Gorilla Fund, but also here in Rwanda, is a model that works. And we've actually been uh, um, exporting that model to another species of gorilla in, gorillas in Congo that are also uh, threatened. And I think it's going to continue to provide lessons um, to other countries, other places that have animal species or, you know, in general, biodiversity that are uh, threatened. <laughs>